I don't have a beverage to sip and it's really weird. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Don't even look at my hair, don't even mention my hair. Just don't even, just ignore it. Ignore, ignore the hair. The end of the year, it is upon us. And with that comes all of the New Year's Eve glam tutorials. And what kind of beauty YouTuber would I be if I didn't upload one myself? So here you go. This is the second attempt at this video. The first one I ended up burning in a trash fire. I think the second attempt definitely went a lot better than the first. I decided to throw away convention. I decided to just do a very chill video. I decided to not put pressure on myself and I decided to work with products that I felt inspired by because I don't really want to end the year on a shitty note full of stress and panic. So that's exactly what I did. You tell me if you like it or not. Without blathering on for much longer, let's get started. New Year's Eve video, take two. This is my second attempt at filming this video. Last time... <gasps> no! It didn't go so well. It kind of just went downhill from there. So I scrapped it. I tried to salvage it for a few hours, three hours. So we're gonna try again. We are going to do eyes first today because I predict it's going to be quite colorful. On New Year's Eve, you just wanna, you just wanna feel like your best self. And I feel like these tones make me feel like my best self always. We are gonna play with a palette that I haven't yet shown on this channel and I haven't played with a lot. We are going to use this sparkly, glittery, Wanderlust palette, the LA Hollywood Hills palette. If you can just sort of see there, there's like, you know, lots of iridescence, some shift, some green and gold. I think it's gonna be perfect for New Year's Eve. That's what we're gonna work with today. We're gonna use other things as well, but I think that's where I, I got my inspiration from for this look. I'm gonna keep it minimal on the chatting. Last time I tried filming this, I think I was just uh, getting a little distracted by my chatting and I couldn't focus. So today is gonna be pretty, pretty tutorial heavy. So we're going to prime today because I have a feeling it'll help a little bit with color. So we're gonna go in with some MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I have a Pretty good idea of what I wanna do today. I don't wanna make it too intense. I've been really favoring soft, blown out, smoky looks the last half of this year. So I think what I wanna work on most today is incorporating that blue and green together because I think it's gonna be really pretty. To help this process along, I'm gonna be using my Sugar Pill Shadows. This matte blue is definitely gonna help punch things up a bit. I'm just gonna try going in with this Sugar Pill Shadow first and see what happens. This is like a little Packer fluffy brush. It is a Pro AE from the Furless It's Likely Makeup Collab. They have a new collab. Did you see it? I am super jazzed. Oh yeah, comment down below. I need to know while I'm at it if there's anything else from Furless you want me to review or try out on camera, I will get it. So I'm not quite sure what shape I want to do yet, but I know I definitely want to pack this blue into the crease using tapping motions. And in that outer corner, I think I'm gonna blend out these edges using, I think that's kimchi and an M514 using tiny baby circular motions around the edge. After you've blended for about a thousand years, I'm gonna take that green shade, which has some blue reflex in it, and I think this is going to pair really nicely with the blue. So I'm just gonna spritz this down. Absolutely stunning. It is really flaky though. You can see it's all over my cheek. So I'm super glad we're doing this first. Now I think to blend these two bits together, I'm now gonna take that blue shade, marry the two areas together. Holy Toledo, that is like electric blue. Shit. Taking a smaller brush, I'm gonna take this sort of iridescent shade that has a nice green gold shift to it. Try and really pack that onto the inner corner and then drag it underneath as well. And to avoid making a huge mess, I'm gonna take an even tinier brush and put this on the brow bone. Okie doke, I am going to finish the rest of the other eye off camera, probably throw on 
liner, lashes, start my base, and then we will finish the look together. Liner and lashes are on, foundation, bronzer, contour, that's where we're at. These lashes, uh, again, are the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. I decided to give them another go because I thought they'd be fluffy, it let you know the eyeshadow shine through. I'm feeling a lot of disco vibes right now with these like big earrings and my glittery crease. I threw some Urban Decay glitter liner in the style Midnight Cowboy, just kind of where the green and the blue meet on the inner third of the lid. Uh, I'm gonna line my waterline with the NYX Retractable Liner in the color Aqua Green. I think it'll be really pretty and pick up some of the green on the lid. I'm starting to get really mermaidy vibes, but who doesn't want to be a mermaid on New Year's? Okay, I'm going to take the blue from this palette and smoke out my lower lash line. I really want to see what this eyeshadow can do on its own because it looks extremely pigmented. When I layered it on top of the sugar pill shadow, it just turned like electric blue. To bridge the gap between the blue and this iridescent inner corner shade, I'm just gonna take a stab of that metallic green and blend the two areas together. Kind of like the messiness of a glitter on the lower lash line, all kind of like blending together and looking a bit bleary. Kind of makes you look like you've been at a party since 2 a.m. and you're stumbling home, but like in a sexy way. In keeping with the flower beauty theme, I think we're just gonna go in with peach primrose because blue and orange, as we all know in the film and television industry, look great together. Why would it be any different on my face? Bringing it up really high and wide as opposed to closer to the, the center of the face. I think we're even gonna take it into the temples a little bit. Start blushing that nose. I'm gonna tie the look together by actually using this shade as a base for my highlight. Oh Jesus, that got everywhere. To top that, I'm gonna take How Many Carrots from Fenty. If you're not gonna wear this on New Year's Eve, when else are you gonna wear it, for God's sake? Let's do some freckles. Since we're going a little ham on the eyes, I wanna go nude for the lip, which is obviously the first time anyone's ever thought of that. I'm gonna do a bit of a darker lip line just cause I want my lips to look juicy. So I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Versatile Chestnut. And after you've appropriately overlined your lips, time to go in with a nude lipstick. Going in with something new from Fenty Beauty. She came out with a new line of nude lip paints and I picked up the lightest shade. It is called Unbutton. Yeah. Kind of blend that in with the darker liner and then throw a little bit more on in the center to brighten it up. And before I cry off my entire lash, this is the finished New Year's Eve-ish glam. <laughs> exactly know where I was going with this. I wasn't intending for this look to be this involved. However, I really like how it turned out and I think it's really pretty. I don't know if it screams New Year's to me. I feel like a lot of people go really dark, smoky, black eyeshadow, glitter. I feel like this look is a little bit more mermaid glam than it is New Year's Eve glam, but, but for some reason this Wanderlust palette really spoke to me today. I really wanted to play with it, so this is what came out of it and I'm happy with it. I think I executed it really well. The shadows performed beautifully. They're all incredibly flaky, so don't be surprised when you get a shit ton of fallout. And I think this lip combo is absolutely stunning. Anyway, so that is it for me today and that is it for this year. It wasn't, wasn't the best of years. 
I don't think for any of us. On a personal level, it definitely was not the best year for me. I struggled a little with um, mental health and my career and a multitude of other things. However, a lot of great things happened this year. Also, upon reflection, I encourage you guys to reflect upon the good things that happened to you this year as well, just so we don't, just so we don't despair too much over this new year coming our way. We have to remember that good things did happen. And for me, that good thing was you guys. I, I started my channel this year and it was in and around somewhere between like January, February, where I decided to finally take the plunge and record my first video. I feel like I've grown leaps and bounds since my first upload. It's interesting to see my progress so clearly represented. I can really look back on it and, and see just how far I've come. And I've come quite a ways. And if you've been here since the very beginning. I just want to say thank you so much. If you are new here and you, you've you just sort of stumbled across me, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You have definitely made this year imminently tolerable for me. And I hope in some small way that I have helped you make this year tolerable as well. That is the entire goal of this channel is to bring a little bit of sarcasm and fun and creativity into your day-to-day -day lives. God, I don't think I'll ever put these lashes on again. They are so uncomfortable. So to all of you out there who are watching this, to all of you who are subscribed, to all of you that are lurking and who should be subscribed to my channel by now, thank you for making this year an okay one. If you aren't already, hit the subscribe button. It's the end of the year. Do something charitable for once. Hit the bell icon. Hopefully you get a notification. We'll we'll see if that works in 2019. You can follow me on other social media. My Instagram is at Madelaide, the same way it is spelled here. And my Twitter is at Madsuds, which is M-A-D-D-S-U-D-Z. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this look. Comment down below the best thing that happened to you this year. I would love to hear that. Have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Be responsible, be safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't consume any substances and drive. Just don't, just don't. Most importantly, have fun. Please be kind and be generous to everyone you meet out there in the world today. And hopefully I will see you next year. <laughs> Bye guys.